Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupitergym.club and in this video tutorial I'm going to teach you how to change the font size and font family within a WordPress blog post or page. So right now I'm at the wordpress.org website okay and we're looking for a plugin. So the name of the plugin that we need to use is called WP Edit. If you're using WordPress version 3.9 right here, if you're using 3.9 or higher for WordPress, then you use WP Edit. The earlier version of this plugin created by the same developer named Josh Loeb, th that is this thing right here, Ultimate Tiny MCE plugin. That's the plugin you use if your version of WordPress is lower than 3.9. So I just want to clarify that. So I'm going to teach you how to use WP Edit today. Let's just go over it briefly. It's updated three weeks ago. He constantly updates it. It's downloaded over 100,000 times. It's very popular. Very high star rating, four out of five stars total. One thing, so here's Josh Loeb who created it. He's the developer and here's the donate to this plugin button and I would beseech you to please donate one or two dollars because this plugin is such a lifesaver. Let's put it into perspective. A cup of coffee costs more than a buck. A newspaper costs more than a dollar. This plugin is worth at least a cup of coffee to Josh Loeb. Um, because think about it, he had to learn PHP code, he had to write the code to create this plugin, and more importantly, like I showed a second ago, he really keeps it updated. Many PHP developers and WordPress developers, they have their little projects and they develop a plugin and you love it, and all of a sudden, six months, nine months, a year, two years later, they still haven't updated it, which leaves your WordPress blog or website vulnerable to security vulnerabilities, and uh, it won't necessarily be compatible with the latest version of WordPress. Okay, so let's get on with it. This is my demo site. That's all it is. It's just a demo site. It says right there, demonstration site. Now, I'm going to, there's a blog post here called Fun, Fun and Beaches in South Florida. And I'm saying, okay, so here's a paragraph. What, did you, what if you wanted to change the font size and the font family of that paragraph or all the text on this page? what have you. How would you do that? Okay, so I'm going to click here where I'm already logged in. I'm already logged into that same website, same blog post. Now, if you'll notice up here in the right-hand section, there's no place to change font size and font family, and that plugin is going to allow us to do that. Now, before we get started, you might say, well, look, it looks like you've already, before that plugin's installed, you've changed the font size and family on this, but you know what? Um, that is an H2 tag. I cover that in another video. That is the font family and the font size of any text inside an H2 tag is determined by the theme, the WordPress theme that's being used on the WordPress blog or website. Number one. Number two, H2 tags have significance in search engine optimization. For instance, it would be very bad SEO to highlight a whole paragraph and say I'm gonna make it you know I'm gonna make that a h2 tag that it's really bad for your SEO because the Google bots are looking at the text and they're thinking that this is supposed to be h2 text I covered that in another video that's not what's important here I'm just saying that's how we got the big letters here okay so let's go to plugins and add new you're gonna just obviously I'm already logged into the site WP edit hit enter or return and here's here it is by Josh Loeb right here so we've already checked out the details we don't need to do that so let's just click install now I'm gonna activate the plugin now this 3.7 that's the version of the plugin it's not the version of WordPress that we're using as a matter of fact in this particular site, I'm using WordPress version 4.4.1, and this will work, by the way, with any theme, any WordPress theme. It should. Let's click Activate Plugin. You click Activate Plugin, it automatically brings you here. Button Container, this does not show up in the toolbar. Anything here shows up in the toolbar. So I'm going to click, just click and drag. Click and drag. Font Family font size and we are done. Now there's a lot more you can add in the free version, a lot more options and things. 
We're not covering that right now. I'm just trying to show you how to change font size and family. So you click Save Buttons, and that's these things up there. We click Save Buttons. Now we're going to go back. Uh, before I go, there's a WP Edit Pro, which has extra features. I'll talk about that later. That's the paid version, should you choose to do it, and that has some extra really cool stuff. So let's go back to the blog post. I'll post. Find fun at beaches in South Florida. And, okay, so, look, now you see, remember how before I said there was no place to change font size and family? Well, now there is. So I can go here, Control A, I'm on a Windows Command A on a Mac, and now I've just highlight, highlighted all the text in a page, and I can change the font size and font family going there. I'm going to click Dismiss here. If I just want to, you know, change the font size and font family for one sentence, I can do that. I can even change the font family and font size for an H2 tag, it's up to me. What I'm going to do is just double click, triple click, excuse me, one, two, three, on this paragraph, it automatically hi highlights the whole paragraph. And now I'm going to change font size and font family. So I'm going to change it to Comic Sans, just so it's very visible, very apparent that we've used, that we're using a different font family and size. And I'm going to click 16 points. Bada boom, I'm going to click on the white area, gray area to deselect, and there you go. Now I'm going to click Update. Back to this post here, deselect, I'm going to hit refresh, and it's quite obvious we've changed font size and font family. I don't know how to do it without that plugin. It's such a lifesaver. I'm sorry to keep asking you, but if you can donate a buck or two, it would really go a long way um, to helping Josh out because he's really done this for years. I mean, he's just done this for a really long time, and it's so invaluable. Everybody's always thanking me on YouTube and my blog post for making the video. The thanks really goes to Josh. Anyway, so once you can change font size, font family, font color, changing that is already built in. That's right here. Change, you know, let's click there, and we'll change it to, like, say orange. Okay, that's already built in. So once you can change font size, font family, and font color, and highlights, and all that stuff, you can create your own landing page without paying for expensive landing page software. What am I talking about? Let me give you an example. Now, this page right here is the actual landing page, is the actual sales page I used for Jupiter Gyms. Well, you can see right up here. It's jupitergym.club. So it's the winner's page. So Jupiter Gyms Marketing Club, this is the landing page I used to sell it when I launched it in the beginning of January. So when you watch this video, maybe I have a different landing page. I don't know, but this is what I'm using right now. Now, everything on here was made possible because of the plugin. Let me show you what I mean. Now, the theme came with a landing page template, which means no sidebars. Most themes today, WordPress themes, will have a template, an option where you create a page and you can say, no sidebars, so you can kind of create something very similar to a landing page or a sales page just like this one uh, without having to pay for the fancy software like lead pages or whatever. Anyway, so I just got the landing page template, which is just a blank white area, and you know, you just put graphic up here, add video up here, very easy. Once again, change font size and font family due to the plugin WP Edit. Same thing here, change font size, font family. Just did a background, highlight yellow background. That's in the toolbar as well. Change font size, font family. Go down. So you see, this is what I used, all this stuff. Just added an image. You know, you don't need anything special. Just add an image to a WordPress post or page. The check marks came with the theme. So you can do an ordered list like this, and you can indent it and all do, do the nice stuff. But the blue check marks actually came with the theme. I'm not exactly sure what uh, options you have. Um, I know with the paid version, you can add some CSS code and create it you know, for the WP Edit Pro. Anyway, so I'm just going to scroll down. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just trying to let you know that how legitimate, how powerful this plugin is, man, because I use it. These are just graphic images, so you just put graphic images in. Graphic image, graphic image, you know, uh, button here, et cetera, et cetera. Add some videos and a picture and a graphic signature. So, anyways, so it really does work. There's 
once again WP edit you can get it at WPWordPress.org and before I go I just want to let you know that on WP edit pro so there is the URL for that WP edit pro easy to remember if you pay for the pro version they're all different options but if you buy it, it gives you all kinds of extra features. For instance, I want to point this out, Google Fonts. One of the most asked questions that people always ask me because I do these videos on WP Edit every time he updates it, the plugin, um, people always say, what other fonts can I use? Well, if you buy the WP Edit Pro version, you can use other fonts here. Obviously, just use Google Web Fonts, very cool. And then there's a lot of other things you can do for styling and buttons and commenting and columns and all kinds of cool stuff for the paid version. That's it and that's all. I hope you found this helpful. Take care and have a great day.